and to law enforcement. So there's so many exciting opportunities that you're going to take advantage of. Uh, I was fortunate enough to speak in Hawaii earlier this year, and this image still resonates with me. You know, you, those of you who've been to Hawaii, you know the wonderful classic picture is of these folks. What do they call this uh, vessel? Waka. Waka. A waka. Really? Outrigger. Outrigger. Thank you. Outrigger. That's Waka New Zealand. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. We're probably going to win the Rotary World Cup, but there we go. <laughs> yes. So, um, and it's the beautiful image of everyone rowing in the same direction. And that's what it takes, doesn't it? it as a multidisciplinary teamwork approach. And that is the only way that I could have done what I did, standing in the courtroom, knowing that I had a team of dedicated people who uh, had worked with me on getting this case to the jury. So finally, resources. Don't forget the National Center on Elder Abuse. They are a fantastic resource. Andrew's already mentioned it, the Elder Justice Initiative, which I think is phenomenal, and it's got some wonderful uh, downloadable PDF documents and videos that you can take advantage of. So, Elder Justice Initiative. And something I'm really proud of is called the Eagle Project. I hope that every law enforcement, and maybe you can incorporate this. Do you know, have you heard about it, Jamie? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. This stands for Elder Abuse Guide for Law Enforcement. It is fantastic. So, look at it, look it up online, Eagle, okay? And it's out of the University of Southern California, but it's for every single state in America. There's drop-down menus, there's checklists, and I'm sure some of the information you got from this, didn't you? Uh, uh, some of it, yep. Yeah, yes. it's, it's really top-notch. So please take advantage of it, along with uh, the document that James' office is producing. And then I've, I've adopted a top 10 tips for seniors. Um, we've, we've done it into a brochure, but if you'd like those top 10 tips, I can send them to you. So I would say to seniors, uh, when I wrap it up, just like I did with a closing argument of a case for jurors, I always used to end with three words that described the evidence, and I always used to use words that began with the same letter. So I like letters that begin with P. So my name's Paul. I used to be a prosecutor. So, <laughs> so I, I think of passion, purpose, and perseverance. Such great qualities uh, that, that we can exemplify. And then when I finish uh, with uh, talking to seniors, you, and some of you heard me say this, I always talk about going skiing. I say, every single one of you in this room, these are people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s, you need to take a ski vacation in the next six months. And they go, what are you talking about? Here, it's very appropriate. Here we are, <laughs> at the base of a ski slope, right? But skiing takes on a whole different meaning. Spend kids inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm being a little humorous there, I guess, but I do tell older adults, don't always think that your money is there just for your kids. You enjoy it for yourselves. You've earned it, you can spoil yourself, and don't feel guilty about it. And of course, where do they spend their money? <laughs> they all go cruising. So they love and go cruising. So, so they always leave with a, with a good feeling. Uh, so always tell your seniors, at least take one ski vacation before the end of your life. So I'm leaving my uh, information if ever I can be of assistance to you, and I'm going to get Tori uh, the materials that I can share with you, plus the others that I didn't get to, so you have them for, for your, and if there's anything I can help you with, I'd be happy to do that. And I'm really excited to see your document from the AG's office, and I'll certainly give you my feedback on that as well. So, you've been marvelous. Thank you so much. Indeed. And, uh, thank you.